Okay, so uh, we're going to continue on with making our forum now. Uh, I believe we're on part six of uh, the forum series. Um, so in the last video, we um, pretty much finished up the index page, uh, and it, it's completely dynamic and everything. We're showing uh, the total topics in each category, total posts in each category, and um, the last post, and who posted it, when it was posted. Uh, we've also made our image avail available, uh, pretty simple. And when we click it, we go to our view cat page. Um, and I went ahead and created this page ahead of time. Um, this is the entire view cat page. So we're just setting our title, connecting the database, disconnecting, and that's it. So, uh, yeah. So we're going to start working on, on the category page. So the category page is going to contain... It's essentially going to look like our, our forum index where we're going to have all of our boxes, um, except it's going to be one box with a bunch of category-looking things, uh, looking areas. Um, may not make too much sense, but uh, you'll see what I mean soon enough. So, yeah. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to connect to our database. Or actually, before we do that, um, because of how we're making it so we can dynamically change our page, we're using an ID variable um, in our get method, so we need to get that variable out of the URL. So at the very top of the page, I'm going to say get ID equals dollar sign underscore get. <clears throat> and inside of here we have ID. So we're getting our ID out of the URL, and what we need to do is we need to connect to our database, which I've already done, and we need to run a query. So our query is going to be uh, select all from, and this is going to be our forum underscore categories table, where id equals, and this will be our get id variable in there. And we're also going to need our standard num rows. So mysql underscore num underscore rows. And inside of there we have our query. So the reason we're doing this is because we don't want to try to display anything if the category doesn't exist. So yeah, we don't want to display try to display categories if a category doesn't exist. Obviously that would be a problem. So what we're gonna do is in this if statement we're gonna say if num rows equals equals one. So if the category ID is found in the database then we're going to um, do whatever's inside of this if statement. But if it's not, then we want to have an echo, and we'll say whoops. <clears throat> so an invalid category ID was provided. And later on, we will change that message to show something else. So for now, if we upload the view cat file, and then after a little bit, if we refresh the page, you see we have no change. It's also because it didn't upload. So if we refresh it again, you see that we have no change, and that's because we have a category in the database uh, with an ID of 1. So say if we change this to 6. So we get the message, an invalid category ID was provided. So obviously that's working. So what we want to do is change this back to 1. And after we change it back to one, uh, let's go to our view cat file. So inside this if statement right here, what we want to do is we want to have our um, our start underscore forum function called, and that's so we can begin displaying it our uh, our forum category and everything. And we'll go ahead and just put in the end forum. That should be forum. So just to make sure that this is working, I'm going to upload the viewcat file again and refresh. So we have our box being displayed there. So what we want to do is in the form.php file, we need to grab this code right here, this echo, right after we have our star forum. We need to grab that code and put it in here. And then we're just going to reverse indent just to make it look really nice. So we have our text in here. Since we already have that coded out, may as well save some time. Um, so our text is going to be 
our category name. And the reason I'm just putting this in right now is just to prove that uh, we're getting all of our information. So <clears throat> we have to get our echo statement right there. So that starts the essentially the inside content where we're going to have all of our stuff there. We also need to have in the end div code. Now, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and upload this again. And if we refresh, we now have our category name, we have topics, post, last poster. So we're, we've begun setting it up and everything, obviously. Um, so inside of here, what we want to do is, after we start our class of our forum, we need to um, connect to our database and run a query. So MySQL underscore query. Or not connect to our database, sorry, we're already connected. We, we need, just need to run a query. And we need to say select... Actually, before we run this query, uh, what we need to do is we need to make it so um, we get our category name dynamically. Um, so obviously that would be nice. So, <coughs> um, so above where we have our start form function, we're gonna have a query. So query equals MySQL underscore query. So what we're gonna do is our query is gonna say select. Actually, God, I'm making sorry, I'm making all these mistakes here. Um, we actually just need our row variable. So row equals MySQL underscore fetch underscore a sock. And inside of here we have our query. Get rid of that. So we need to get our category ID as a database, um, which is essentially our get ID. But we're just gonna, uh, just in case, we're gonna set that to cat ID. So we need to get that out of the database. We also need to get the name of the category out of the database. And if we change our category name text that's down here to cat underscore name, um, that will make it so whatever category we're in, it'll the text will be set there. So we're in the announcements category. So obviously that's working. Um, Let's see, what other information do we want? Let's actually go ahead and... Actually, no, we're not going to do that. Um, so yeah, we, we're getting our category name as a database. Uh, now what we need to do is, before we run this query and actually do anything, we need to create our new uh, table in our database that will hold all of our forum topics. So we need to create forum underscore topics, and if we go to our forum.txt file I've got, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we need 15 fields in here. Um, so what I'm going to do is, once this is done loading, um, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to enter in all the fields and then we'll go. I'll go through and explain. Okay, so I've entered in all the information that we need um, into the database. And the first thing I want to say is we got our ID, which is set to a big int and is also set to a primary key and auto increment. Uh, it's very important you do that. We have our forum ID, the forum name, um, kind of self-explanatory. It's essentially the same information we're going to have in our forum underscore forums uh, table. We have our cat ID and cat name, which is the parent category that this topic is in, that other, the topics are in. We have the user ID and user name. The user ID and user name are the values determining who was the person who created the topic. Uh, then we have our username. Um, we have last user ID and last username. So those were the last user to post in this specific topic. Then we have the date they posted on. We have the total post and total views of each topic. So the total posts that are within a topic. So say I created a topic and then I posted to it to create the topic. And then someone else posts to it. That's two posts. And then someone else posts to it. That's three. So pretty self-explanatory. And we have total views for each topic, um, which will be dynamically loaded and changed um, every time the page is loaded. So dynamically changed when the page is loaded, sorry. Uh, then we have post rights, view rights, and date. The date, pretty self-explanatory, the date um, that it was added. Um, that's just for personal preference, I guess. Um, post rights are um, 
what rights you need to be able to post in there. So you have to be, say, an admin or a moderator to be able to post in this topic. Uh, then we have view rights, so we can make it so um, if we, someone has to be logged in to view the forum the forum topic, or or if you have to be an admin to view it or a moderator or whatever, um, it's all there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save, and we've created it now. So I'm going to click on structure. So we have all this stuff created in here. So that uh, now we have added or created our, our database table, we can actually start adding um, our information. So if we go back to the forum index, so we have our announcements, and the last post was by Basic Nick on December 21st. So uh, I'm going to stop this video here. Um, in the next video, by the time I start the next video, I will have all of uh, the information for the topic created and inserted into the database. Uh, so check out the next video.